In the last outing, we took a look at the fighting game that inspired the genre, Street Fighter 2. Certainly seemed right that in this episode to feature a beat em up that became one of its greatest rivals. By implementing some slight changes, one of these slight changes was the inclusion of fatalities. These gory finishing modes had kids itching to come back and play the game. Parents, on the other hand, were not so pleased. It caused an uproar, the witch hunt was invoked, and it sparked a backlash against the game and its creators. This, along with another little, not so well known Mega CD game. was one of the main reasons that today we have the video game rating system, similar to the film rating system of PG-12, 15, 16, etc. One major difference between the Mortal Kombat series is that it used motion capture of real people to create the character sprites. The developers were a huge fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme and one movie in particular, Bloodsport. So much so, they actually asked him if he would like to be one of the characters in the game, to which he declined. <laughs> Unlucky, John. Wonder where you are now. I was left with nothing except my tight leopard print on the pants. My nipples were so cold, they started talking to me. This led to the creation of Johnny Cage, a movie star martial artist. They even included his special move, a leg split and a punch to the nuts, just as a little nod to Bloodsport and Van Damme. During 2009, Midway actually filed for bankruptcy. However, the Mortal Kombat development team were purchased by Warner Brothers Studios and re-established the Mortal Kombat franchise under NetherRealm Studios as we know of it today, led by industry veteran and Mortal Kombat co-creator Ed Boon. Ed Boon, while working for Midway, had forever had an idea of creating a fighting game, but the idea had been brushed away many a time by Midway. However, once they saw the impact and money Street Fighter 2 was making from sales of arcade cabinets, you guessed it, Ed Boon and team quickly got the green light from Midway to go ahead with the project. Hence, Mortal Kombat was born. Although Mortal Kombat didn't get off the ground with no difficulties. In the beginning, the title of the game, Mortal Kombat, had difficulties getting past due to trademarking. So the idea of changing the C in combat to a K came from Ed Boon's friend and pinball developer at the time, Steve Ritchie, who also worked for Midway. So they ran with it, even changing most of the C's to the K's throughout the series of the games, giving it a little nod to the joke of the title. And come to think of it, it's probably only one of the major game franchises that has a massive typo in the title. If you can think of any others, drop me a comment down below. And that's it for 5 fun facts in 5 minutes on Mortal Kombat. I hope we've all had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year to you all. Thank you very much once again for subscribing. Hit the notification bell down below to get notified when all these types of videos go live. And once again, stay safe, peace and I'll see you in the next one.